Hey everybody, welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time. I of course am Nessa and this, my sweet darlings, is my makeup nook that sits at the end of my hallway. So you're going to hear my family as they move about the kingdom because I cannot soundproof my makeup nook and I'm not going to soundproof my family. So today I am doing back by popular request. By popular, I mean one of my friends here on, on YouTube. Her name is Mizzy B underscore <laughs> wants me to do another yay or nay. So I have collected several um, posts of different things that have come out in the last few couple months that I'm really interested in. I'm either interested in, see in seeing or buying or checking out. And this is where I do the yay or nay. Would I buy or would I not buy? So if you're interested in seeing my opinion of some of the makeup releases in the last couple of months, please feel free to stick around as always and grab yourself a beverage and hang out with me for just a few minutes. Okay, so let's get it over. So we can pop up the pictures here. Ta-da! <laughs> the Bounce Skin Tint by Beauty Blender. I uh, love skin tints. Love, 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 love skin tints. I do. Um, I love them for my everyday faces. Currently at the moment, I'm, I'm not on an everyday face. I'm on a YouTube face where I've got a little bit more caked on powdery cream, cream kind of contact. It is $29. Um, would I pick it up and try it? Absolutely. But I do have to get through some of my foundations first. I do have a ton of makeup back here, but I would definitely, nah, I want to put in. Ooh, I can get 20% off. Instagram shop. Mm -mm. No, I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> but definitely would pick up, pick up another skin tint. I do have. I'm trying to think which skin tint I do have. I do have the skin tint from Avon, and I have the one I'll post a picture here as well, the Magic Tint, and I have a tinted moisturizer from Pure. I'll also picture here too, as as I will, and the prices will be listed there on the screen. So, so I do have a couple of them. So I do like the, like I said, four, um, there's not, not caked on face makeup type thing. So <laughs> what else do we got? What else do we got? Let's see. Yay or nay. Too Faced Lady Bold. This is a red lipstick. Your girl loves, 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 loves red lipsticks, red lipsticks, red lipsticks. Love it. It is most generally the my go-to color. Um, if it's not red, it is this pinky Huda or let's see. I've got several different. Mama's got red lipsticks. Okay, this is a little bit neutral. Or <laughs> I don't have my currently at the moment. I do not have my red rum. But wait, what is that one? This is. Heckmate. My red rum is missing in action. He's in one of my bags somewhere running around. But yeah, I love love me some red lipsticks. Whew. Okay. So so when I when I see a red lipstick, do I think I need it? Absolutely. Am I gonna get it? Absolutely not. I do have neutrals as well, but well not ones that I picked up for myself. Like this came in a boxy charm bag, so uh, you know, 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 so I do have some really wild ones too. Like I have my unicorns, purples and things like that. So and you have a lot of lipsticks. <laughs> anyway, would I pick it up? Totally. I would totally pick it up because this is in my color. This one here that is posted. Um, blah, 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 blah. But I don't know why I decided that I wanted to post that besides it was to be bold, be confident, be you, new lady bold lipstick, fully loaded color and lightweight, comfortable texture with soft as whisper feel. Um, I, I, yeah, I would pick it up, but I don't need it. <laughs> so definitely a yay, only because she is bright red. This next one up here is this plush like me set by ColourPop, I believe. Looks like a ColourPop collection. Yes, ColourPop. Look at all that. Look at all that product. Look at that product. Come on. Um, this is right up my alley. These are the mauve tones. I love, 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 love that bottom row there. Um, those lipsticks are amazing, especially the darker end of that collection there. Oh, man. Yeah, that highlight looks scrumptious. Let's see. It's a closer picture there of the palette itself. I love those two dark colors on the bottom. Um, right up my alley. Right, right up my alley. 
Well, and ColourPop goes, comes through a bunch of choices. So if it's not, like I said the last one, if it's not your cup of tea, not your thing, honey, sit around. They're going to come up with another one here. This Hocus Pocus one that I missed in October. I missed this one um, just because I missed it. The only thing that really got my eye on this was the stamps, the spider stamp and stuff like that, and I didn't get them. I don't need any, you know, it didn't really draw, draw, draw me in. The, the other thing that I really, really got was this candle here. I'm a big candle lover. I don't have mine lit today, but I'm a big candle lover, and I love, love, love the candle. I think I liked last year's Hocus Pocus better than I liked this one. I'm not a big fan of the color scheme in this one, so definitely would not pick up the palette itself, but like I said, I would love, 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 love to get those stamps for next Halloween. Maybe I'll pick them up on Macari or something like that if I can find them. And the mirror is super cute here. This is my mirror. I shall always be with you. Anyway, it was a cute set. I missed it. I didn't pick it up. But this I am simply in love with. This here, okay? This is super expensive. I actually priced this on the VIB sale and I was going to pick it up for my 10% off on the Sephora VIB sale. Don't got the money right now, so it's not happening. But I would love, love, love to have this. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edition. Edited Edition. Universal Unlocked Palette. This post is the first few of Hourglass uh, Volume 3. I love the one um with the pink in it uh the two pinks so i will put an arrow on the one that i absolutely love the one that has what is that red heat rose heat and coral flush in it i love that one i would so pick up that one but she's eighty dollars eighty dollars <laughs> i love it but Mom, I don't got no $80 right now, so it, it'll come. It'll come to me. It'll land in my lap, and I will be blessed. But Liquid to Powder Sun Soaked High Shine Highlighters. I like cosmetics. I like cosmetics. Look at those. Don't they so beautiful? Look at that. Oh. These look so yummy, as one of the posts says. Um, let me see if I can click on some more here. In three shades, fair to light, meaning to tan and dark to rich. Available September 15th. Use code TRENDMAN for 10% off. Those look super, super stunning. We'll go back to the one picture. Yeah, I love highlighters. Girls got a bling, got to shine that stuff up. So definitely, definitely something I would pick up. Uh, if they're reasonably priced. I don't think there's a price on here, so... But yeah, I don't need any eyeliners either. But uh, yeah, yeah, girl. Mmm, girl needs it, girl. What's this one? Uh, new eyeshadow palette, Love for Sale by House of Labs. It's a neutral palette, so not really my cup of tea. I do love the black in the corner and that purple, but would I pick it up for just a couple of colors? No, absolutely not. But she is stunning. Uh, I don't own any House of Labs eyeshadows necessarily. I mean, yeah, pretty, beautiful, beautiful, but honey, it's, it's yeah, I gotta know. I have to do a head count on how many palettes I actually have and how many I actually use in that palette collection. <laughs> it's not very many. Okay, so Morphe Brushes exclusive sweet then sour goodies from Morphe X Sour Patch Kitsch Collection. Look, look at that, look at that. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette because it's got all those beautiful colors in it. Yeah, yeah, I would I would pick that up. The next one on my list, uh, Happy Hour Collection from Glam Light. Have you guys seen these collections? They have the Dirty Martini. This one here that I have here is the Wine Palette. It's purple, and purple is my is my thing if you can't tell i love 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 purple i would pick this up totally pick this up i do not own any glam light palettes i do not believe i do let me do some thinking i don't think i own glam light i'd love to get the cake one their cake palette looks scrumptious besides okay i love cake so i would definitely need to pick me up a cake palette but other here's the bart simpson one the simpson revolution palettes okay look at that that is there's a lot of neutral in there too, but there's a lot of pop of color in that one. A lot of pop of color in that one. I don't own any Makeup Revolutions either. This is the next picture. 
uh, a little bit up close and personal. Those greens are really, really pretty. Those pinks and of course those purples are really, I'm really, really speaking to me. Definitely. If it came across my path and I could, I could be just like, oh, yeah, I would pick it up because it's super, super pretty. But I've got to get through some of the stuff I own, my ladies, mm, my sweet darlings. I've got enough. But definitely would, would definitely pick this one up. What is the Matrix palette? Look at that. There's this picture here. Um, yes, please. Yes, please. Probably more so than the Simpsons one because it's more contained and smaller. Uh, but yeah, I totally would pick this one up. The That one, there's a couple of them. There's this darker version of it, a little bit more neutral. Look at that. And there's this side. I love that blue side. That red side too, the red pill is amazing. But definitely, definitely. Uh, the Ultimate Princess Celebration includes a series of 12 pieces. Each set includes refillable, metal, metal and compact matching to, okay, it's for $127. This one is the Brave one. I showed this is one last year, name. It, it's beautiful. The compact is super stunning. I love their compacts. But... I'm not spending $125. This would be a collector's piece. If you collect these things, it would be a beautiful collection. I said that the last time. Okay, so definitely think about that. Too Faced, new, new, new. The Forbidden Fruitcake Palette. We took the classic Christmas treats with the bad reputation. I imagine that's reputation. Bad rep. Everybody loves to hate and turned it into a palette for the Yuletide dreams with rich, warm uh, shades and pops of sweet color nobody can resist. <laughs> it's a super cute palette super cute palette um, neutral again so yeah definitely would pick them up I do own a couple of Too Faced baby palettes I do own a couple of Too Faced palettes too but they're baby ones I own the baby ginger spice okay and I love it for this shade right here okay that's what I got that one for and I did get the Too Faced Salted Caramel, which is a neutral palette, but I loved it for this shade here. And their shimmers in here are amazing. So I just, I have a couple of the baby ones. Would I get the Too Faced Fruitcake one? <sighs> Probably not. I've got, they look like similar colors that I've already owned. That green is smashing. That little shimmer green was smashing, but I don't think I'm going to just pick it up just for that green so that would be a nay this my sweet darlings this one she is a classic an icon she's a hollywood glam of all times she is miss marilyn monroe if y'all don't know my makeup nook is in honor of my mom who was a big miss marilyn monroe fan and it has marilyn monroe all over it all over it so i love 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 look at those shadows who made this we need to find out. I need to pick this up. Revelation, Revelation Pro. Who? Is, Ultimate Shadow Palette Diamonds is twenty-eight dollars. That is a beautiful. I want that compact too. Look at that compact. Why do I need a compact? I don't need a compact. But look at it. it's beautiful, and stunning. And then there's the I Quad White Pearl Fifteen Pink Crystal Fifteen. There's a mascara. Look at all that glam. Look at all that glam. Who made do we don't know who do we know who made this? Do we know? Revolution Pro Collection X. Uh, I have to check into this and see if it's out yet. But yeah, definitely. Look at that palette. Look at that pink up there in that corner. Look at that pop of color and those silvers and those blings. I would own this in a heartbeat. And it's probably mostly because of the packaging. I mean it is so neutral. It's such a neutral, but look at the packaging on those. Stunning, stunning. Let's click on this more. Eyeshadow palette by Dominic Cosmetics. The unconditional palette is $28. Includes six stage with matte shimmery finishes and pressed glitters. Okay. I love it because of that. Uh, that pinky purple down there. It's super cool. And you could use these for like um, blushes and stuff. And yeah, I would, would I pick it up for $28? Probably not because it's only six shades, but it's beautiful. I love, 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 love me some purple. Some purple purple colors these are new mini eyeshadow palettes now mind you knew it's like a couple months ago four palettes neutral cheek pretty cheek wealthy cheek and sunset cheek by color drain maybe 
coming soon. So yeah, these are pretty. Cute little six pan palettes. Oh, a color, colored rain formula. So that's the colored rain palette. So those are pretty. That pretty cheek is pretty. Sunset's beautiful too. So I'm more orange and purple kind of girl. So okay, well I will just let that go. Um, I'm sure that there's plenty of other stuff on this little list that I could look up. She Glam Instant Ready, Instant Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Duo. It's here as well. Uh, I saw this was going to do this one, my last one, but I didn't. So, yeah, I love She Glam girls. She Glams is my jam. I buy a lot of my clothes and stuff through She Glam. So, did I do It's a Mood? Did I do the ColourPop It's a Mood? Is it ColourPop? That's it here, too. This one's got some pretty greens in it. I would so pick this one up, too, because of those purples down there in the corner and that green line that's there. But seriously, I don't need another palette. Look at those purples, though. Definitely. Yep, by ColourPop. That's who that's by. Ay, ay, ay. I, I, no, no. It'll be a bit before. I will do a haul on here if I do a, a, a VIB sale, but I'm not guaranteeing you I will because Mama got to have the money and we are, we just finished our are siding on our house and so that payment has been made or will be made and so I'm holding off on it to get all that little money back together because I tapped into it being the adult that I am and now I have to pay it back so I can make the payment. I didn't tap into it too much but I still got to make that payment so finances are on hold for a minute <laughs> but definitely thank you my sweet sweet darlings uh my friend mixie b underscore is here she if she's here send me guys a comment and let me know this was my second yay or nay in this bunch a lot of yays i would buy it but is, is the money here no <laughs> but hey you know i'd love it if somebody would just like finance me and i could just buy lots and lots of makeup i'd have to buy a bigger house or add on to mine. <laughs> so with that, on my on that note, my sweet, sweet darlings, I'm going to let you go. I will not keep you on here. I still have to edit another video as well and get these two posted. I haven't posted in a while. I apologize for that. So on to better and brighter stuff with much love, much love, and I will see you guys back here very, very soon. Bye.